So let's talk about Bai Wan Korean barbecue. Um, you go first. It was Korean barbecue. The kind you cook yourself. And all you can eat. And your thoughts on good. it were? How did it compare to other Korean barbecue places you've had? I think it was better than a normal place that we go. What made it better? The taste. <clears throat> See, I think that the quality of their meat <laughs> The quality of their meat was better than what we're what we usually go to. Um, the service, unfortunately, was about the same. I think it's just a green barbecue thing. But their selection was quite interesting. Like they had, you know, the place we go to, really, what they only have regular chicken and spicy chicken, and this place had like a whole like three or four different chickens. They had the marinated chicken, and what they did better than our normal place. If you agree with me, they sliced it instead of cubing it, so yeah. it cooked faster. Yeah, and they made it, and they made it so that they they pounded the chicken down thinner, so that it was more like, like if you were to make a, a chicken parmesan, that's how you would do it. You know, you pound down the chicken so it's flatter, and they did that with their chicken, and the you know, but like everything else was the same. Like the bulgogi came out, it was thick like always. It had onions, had decent sauce. I think the um, the brisket sauce was pretty good for the brisket. Yeah. Um, they had a good selection of like appetizers you can get with all you can eat. Typical brisket, kind of thin, fatty. Um, but that's okay because that cooks off. That's why, honestly, like you kept saying they were looking at us because we were basically, you know, cooking the crap out of the brisket. But I like it that way because it Me burns too. off all the fat. You know, you don't have the the fattiness and it's a little crunchier. I don't know. I just like that that. So. What would you give it on a scale of one to ten? Compared to all other Korean barbecue places, probably a nine. Yeah, I would agree. I would give it a nine. It was really good. It was easy to find. The price wasn't bad for Las Vegas. Price was similar. To, the price was very similar to Gen Korean barbecue. But their food was better. And their selection was similar to Gen Korean barbecue. Like they had, they had the ribeye steak um, situation going on. And it, you were right. It was an entire ribeye per person at the end? table. Yes, it that. was. It was a good six inches. Wow. So you should have gotten one. You know, <laughs> it was. Um, it was decent. Well, I, I kept thinking about how long the brisket was taking to cook, and I was like, that steak's gonna take a hundred years to cook. You had to order it at um, the beginning. So no, I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> so there you got it. Um, Bai Wan Korean barbecue. It's a little bit off the strip, but it's pretty good. So give it a try if you like. Good price. Order. Good meat. Um, the side dishes were the typical side dishes: the salad with the with the um, uh, sesame seed, you know, oil, sesame oil dressing. Um, it, was, it was all good. It was all good. And um, they were one thing is their service was quite attentive. Whenever they would see the meat cooking and almost they would consider it done, they would come by and ask if you wanted more. And turn down the grill. <laughs> and then they lower the grill. That, that's something that every Korean barbecue place does is they lower the grill. Because they think we're burning the food. I agree Right. You. I know. I agree. I completely <laughs> agree with you. I completely agree with you. But it was a fun time. It was good food. Unfortunately, we had to take a taxi cab back from there because of the situation here in Vegas. You know, you, you order a lift and they have to sit there and search for a driver for you forever. It takes forever. We waited at least 15 minutes, and it still didn't find us a driver. So we yeah, ended so we had up to with use the a taxi cab. Twice the price for a taxi, and they're scammy. Yeah, that taxi cab driver. I gotta say this. <laughs> that taxi cab driver. We, we're staying at New York, New York, and he comes off the freeway at Tropicana. And I've done it now twice since we've been here. There's a lane that you pull into, and then when you turn left, you turn into the parking area if you go straight ahead, or you go to the lobby if you turn to the right. He should have come in and turned to the right. Instead, he passed it, went to the strip, sat there, hung a U-turn, and then came back. Now, for those of you who say, why is that a big deal? Well, I'm going to tell you something. When he hit the strip, the fare was at $13. By the time he made a U-turn, it was at $18. So he wasted $5 of our money by not turning where he was supposed to turn. And this one over here is proud of this one over here 
because <laughs> this one over here didn't say a damn thing to the driver. Kept his mouth shut. Aren't you proud of me? Very much so. But we won't be taking a taxi again if we can help it in Las Vegas. Yes, we will try to use Lyft or Uber. Anyway, that was Baiwan Korean Barbecue. It was awesome. We liked it. We suggest you go there if you come to Vegas. Just be prepared that it is off the strip. So you're not going to be able to like cruise up and down the strip and find it. You have to go quite a ways off the strip in order to find it, and that's why we had to use transportation. Yeah, it's on Sahara on the other side of the freeway from the strip. Yes. So. All right. Peace out. Hey, people. So if you've enjoyed this video from What Happens in Vegas, please hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we have new videos.